Okay, Ben, last question for tonight. Uh, we've talked about uh, DJ controllers and they have a variety of quality of, of mic amps or mic preamps in, in the uh, units. What's the best way to test and know which ones are better quality? Or is there a way to test those out to know if this controller has a better one than that controller? I think the simplest answer here is going to be to listen. You know, I, I think that it might be kind of fun if we were able to... Uh, get a bunch of these controllers and actually try to measure that preamp. Uh, you know, maybe if we were able to send a signal in and measure a signal out and, you know, look for distortion and, and you know, look for, uh, you know, how the, the, the sound is, is, you know, shaped or or otherwise contoured by the, uh, by the preamp and then, of course, the subsequent signal processing within the unit. But I think that's a pretty big ask for, you know, I mean, even me, it would be difficult to, um, you know, uh, get time with that laboratory level gear to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, I think just listen, I think is the key. And um, more and more, we're asking DJ controllers and DJ preamps to do uh, different things where I think, you know, some of the controller manufacturers imagine DJs as people who are a bit more uh, loud. You know, they're shouting on the mic, the hype man, so to speak, you know, or, you know, uh, everybody put your hands in the air. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, and so, you know, they're maybe, uh, you know, crafting those preamps with, with that in mind. Sometimes, and, and you know what, I hope you send this to every company that makes controllers. Sometimes I don't think they have anything in mind. I think they just are pulling this right out of their backside. You know, sure. I think sometimes these preamps are so awful. I'm like, well, where'd you find that one? Mm -hmm. You know? That's not painted with a broad brush, but you know what? If uh, if you are a guy who works for, or a gal who works for a company that makes DJ controllers and that hurts your feelings, good. Go back in there and design a better preamp. <laughs> so anyway, boy, I feel better getting that off no, my that's, chest. That's, that's, yeah, a little therapeutic there for you, I think. Yeah, it's very cathartic. So um, anyway, I think the simplest answer to that would be to just to, to compare and to listen. You know, and there's a lot of variables that go into this too, right? What kind of mic capsule are we using, that sort of thing. But ultimately, the preamp, you know, quality preamps are quality preamps. And it's a big ask to, you know, hope that they would put in, you know, an SSL or, or you know, a, a Digico preamp into one of these boards. I mean, I, I know that's not going to happen. But, you know, for crying out loud, you can go buy a half-decent analog mixer for a couple hundred bucks that's got six or seven decent preamps in it so it's, we're not talking about a lot of dough here to put a decent preamp in these things uh, my two cents so would a you mentioned a mic uh, in the cap mic capsule would it uh, be better say we we all are very familiar with the sure 58 the sm58 mm -hmm. um if we would go and because most dj boards don't have phantom power out but say if we would buy a higher end microphone that needed phantom power and we put some sort of a phantom power uh, device in line with that so it would function would something like that be helpful to give a better microphone experience on some controllers yeah, I think, you know, what we can't fix in the preamp, we could we could change with the microphone. And, you know, we've talked about microphones in the past. Uh, SM58 has a fairly low response millivolts per Pascal. It's not a very responsive mic. It's kind of a dull and flat mic, I think. Uh, everybody's pretty familiar with it, but in terms of the amount of energy you get out of an SM58 for the sound that you put into it, it's not very much. Uh, now, that can be great if you're screaming in the mic, mic yep, you know, because yep. it's going to take that abuse. It's going to take you screaming in that mic. It's going to take a lot of acoustic energy to produce enough electrical energy to be meaningful. Uh, whereas something like you mentioned, a condenser, which where where we have phantom power. So now we have a you know membrane mic as opposed to a, a moving coil mic. Uh, it requires far less acoustic energy to create a very loud acoustic signal or electrical signal, excuse me. Uh, and uh, I think I could probably find this chart really quick. Uh, just this is the uh, hey, watch Ben search through his hard drive to see how fast he can find stuff. Uh, I think the part that people will will appreciate is that it's like there's that hard drive that he has with him must go travel with you everywhere because it's like, oh yeah, I got a presentation from five years ago right here. Oh yeah, and here's another present. It's like how do you? Remember? Well, it does because it's all uh, it's all in Dropbox, but. Uh, so here we go. This is a comparison of mics that I made uh, yeah. previously. And, uh, you know, what we can see here uh, right off the get is there's our SM58. Uh, it looks like this one does not have the uh, millivolts per Pascal on it. So I may have to go back and dig. But this shows the frequency response. And here we can see some, uh, some of these charts include, uh, you know, graphs for uh, uh, proximity effect. 
But this isn't the one I wanted to show you. So stand by, uh, back to the hard drive. Um, everybody just talk amongst yourselves yeah. for a minute. And of course, after this, uh, Brian and Jay and John and Howie and, and the crew will be doing uh, the Tuesday Night Music Show recording. Uh, that'll be at djntv.com slash chill. So you guys can pop out there and check that out. And yes, uh, Robin, thank you for sharing uh, the Analfx Pro uh, link there. That link yes, is also down in the, the description of the video. So now what do we have here? Uh, okay, so what we can see here is this is how we measure a mic sensitivity. And I mentioned earlier the, uh, the you know, millivolts per Pascal. Uh, so what we can see here is that um, when, we, when we give this mic uh, a Pascal, we get 1.85 millivolts of electrical energy out of the microphone. And this is our SM58 we were just talking about. Okay. Um, by comparison, if we look at the Beta 58, same one Pascal, we now have 2.8 millivolts. Can you scroll electric. down a little bit for us? That's just off the screen for me. You bet I can. There it is. Thank you. For our faithful viewers, John, anything. Uh, so we can see that substantial difference here. And these are both dynamic microphones. It's just a difference between the Shure SM58 and the Shure Beta 58. So let's take a look here now. These are also still dynamic microphones. Uh, so, but we can see that, uh, you know, if we go to the ND76, it's 2.4 millivolts per Pascal. And if we look at the ND96, that's now 3.3 millivolts per Pascal. So much more electrical energy for the acoustic energy. And again, mm. we're still just looking at dynamic microphones Which here. If we were to, any of those would work on a typical DJ board pretty much. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, if you're using a, an ND76 or a Beta 58, you're getting more electrical energy for the acoustic energy putting in. Now, is that better? Well, it depends. Uh, if you're already uh, really uh, hammering on that preamp and you're finding that you need to turn it way down on the DJ controller, then an SM58 might be better because it's not going to give you much electrical energy out of that. You mm -hmm. know. And of course, we looked at a minute ago the uh, frequency response differences and that sort of thing. So sure. you know, engineering is really uh, kind of a, a series of, uh, of of compromises here. Yeah. Uh, gosh, I was just looking to see. I know. Uh, I know. I have. Um, condenser microphones here somewhere so actually you know what uh, no that's not it either shoot sorry well um you know i have a shameless plug here i, th I know we have this information on a show on the anal effects youtube so nice. if you uh if you want to stray away from the dj ntv uh, channel for just a quick minute and watch that video but then come right back uh do you I remember what, 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 what were you talking about uh, in the video so a title or, or a keyword or two that you used you know, that's a great question. Thank mic you. comparisons or something like that. Okay, something so just so give them kind of an idea of what to go look for. Tell you what, just go to our YouTube and watch them all. <laughs> it's hard and to... And then come back. <laughs> and then, yeah, we and then we'll, to, we there'll be a test. Then on. come back to the DJ and TV uh, channel. There'll be a so. test on everything you picked up. So, hey, Ben, our time is up, my friend. We need to bounce here. Get to, Brian and uh, Jay and the crew are going to get ready and ready to go here in a bit. So thank you much uh, for taking some time this evening. And it's great to see you back in Minnesota. And hopefully uh, you'll be able to spend a little time with the fam for some turkey and be back at it. Yep, home for Thanksgiving and then right back out on the road, uh, but then uh, home for Christmas. And, uh, you know, that's something to be thankful for, for sure. So, yeah, uh, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, that's when the show is being taped. It's a couple of days before Thanksgiving, uh, taped, recorded, whatever, you know, they, showing all the white hair on my beard. Here, there but, you are. Uh, I'm thankful for you, John, and, and for your family and, and the, you know, 20 plus years we've been able to be friends and work together in the industry. And viewers, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful that you've provided a home for me where I can, uh, you know, be a nerd and still uh, serve a, a useful purpose and have a good time. So uh, hopefully yep. uh, all of you and yours have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's for sure. Everyone at djntv.com slash chill with uh, the music show coming up next and have yourself a wonderful Thanksgiving. We'll catch you next week. Good night, everybody.